Now, I really love Microsoft 365, but there are three things that Microsoft don't make clear when you sign up. And in this video, I'm gonna share what those three things are. So, you fancy using Microsoft 365 in your business. Who wouldn't? It's a great product. So you hop over to the Microsoft 365 website and you sign up and then you enter your credit card details. Then you'll probably have to agree to lots and lots of terms and conditions. But be honest, who reads those? But what I found is there are three things when it comes to Microsoft licensing that causes confusion for lots of people. And in this video, I'm gonna share them with you and basically do Microsoft jobs for them. You're welcome. The first thing that Microsoft should make clear is a big one. One license unlocks all advanced features. Now I harp on all the time my channel about a product called Microsoft 365 Business Premium. It's packed full of advanced security features for your business. To protect email, it's got Defender for Office 365. To protect your devices, it's got Defender for Endpoint. It's got Intune, so you can manage all of your devices in one portal. But here's the thing. Logic would tell you that if you had 50 people in your business, you'd need 50 Microsoft 365 Business Premium licenses. Makes sense. But the problem is, even if you just have one Business Premium license, it unlocks all the advanced features for all the users in your Microsoft 365. Yes, that is right. I think it's worth repeating. If you have 50 users in your business and 49 of them have Microsoft 365 Business Standard, but just one of them has Microsoft 365 Business Premium, it unlocks all of the advanced features for everybody in that business. But this is wrong. That is not how licensing should work. Microsoft should have some technical controls built into their Microsoft 365, which prevents this from happening, but it doesn't. It's a little bit like finishing your dinner and then going to the fridge and having a cream cake. Just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. So even though Microsoft lets you do this, you shouldn't do it. You've got to make sure that everybody in your business is licensed to use the features that you want to use. The second license feature that Microsoft should be more clear on is multiple installations of Office software. So with lots of Microsoft 365 products, like Microsoft 365 Standard or Premium, you get the ability to install Office software, which is like Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, on up to five devices. So what does this mean? Well, in today's age, many of us have multiple devices. We might have a computer at work, we might have a laptop at home, we might have an iPad. We've got multiple devices. So what Microsoft is saying is, you can enjoy the benefits of Office software on all your devices, up to five. Who's got more than five? Now this all sounds very simple, or so you think. We recently spoke to a business owner who had 10 people in his business. So what did he do? Did he buy 10 licenses and give a license to each person? No, he didn't. He bought two licenses. He took it a little bit literal. He said you get five office installations with each license. Two times five equals 10. This is not how it's supposed to work. Everybody who uses office in your business, every single person needs their own license. You can't just keep counting the blocks of five. It's wrong. Now the third thing that Microsoft should make clear, and one of the most important, is backup. Now lots of people think that if they move their email and files and folders and application into Microsoft 365, Microsoft cover them for everything. They don't need to worry about another thing ever again. As you can see from this graphic here, the responsibility for information and data always rests with you, the customer. Microsoft will look after lots of different things when it comes to the Microsoft 365 platform, but your data, your responsibility. Yes, Microsoft do have some backup and recovery tools built into Microsoft 365, but they're not what I would call robust. You need a third-party backup of your data, and it's not very expensive. 
it can cost between two and three pounds per user per month. Now, in my opinion, when you sign up for Microsoft 365, it should say that in big red letters. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's cleared up some of your licensing questions. I look forward to seeing you again soon.